Hello my friends and welcome to this uh, ball guide for the Royal Open Tournament. This is a new feature when it comes to the tournament guide in general. I would really like to hear your opinion and also your feedback for this in the comment section below. And I will be happy. So we are going to go through which type of ball that I suggest to be the best one to play in the opening tournament. You will be able to see some examples on the screen and I'm going to give an easy example or like reference to it while explaining. So before we start do not forget to hit that subscribe button on the channel. Also check out patreon.com slash golf Tommy for training sessions. So we're going to start with hole number one and here I choose the quasar. The reason I go with the quasar is that we do want to have the side spin on this hole. I do really believe that the side spin will help us depending on uh, if we're having tailwind or sidewind or headwind. Doesn't really matter but the quasar will be good here. So <coughs> hole number two uh, I say the titan. The reason I say the titan is that we do want to go long especially if we do get tailwind in all the other tournaments like, like now the latest tournaments in the rookie division we have been having tailwind so we would like to use that wind combined with distance to be able to, or try to go for the green if you do have a special ball type like berserker i would most definitely uh, go with a berserker instead to give us that extra distance hole number three we pull off a navigator here the reason i take a navigator is that we do want to reduce the wind a little bit and we don't need side uh, side spin whatsoever uh, and uh, then the navigator is the best one to play here in my opinion you can go with a marlin as well but if you do have a less upgraded driver then i'll go with a navigator to give ourselves the distance so we actually are able to go on the fairway as far as we do want hole number four here you will be able to see the titan and here it's actually a hole depending uh, on the wind a lot so we uh, the titan will be a ball that i do believe <coughs> it's going to be used uh, most uh, common in the rookie division especially if you do go for the top 50 in the weekend round uh, or you can play it like several ways here you can bounce it over to the left which i do believe is a good way to play you can go to the right as well if you do go to the right you can use a navigator or a marlin as well but if you do want to be able to go a little bit long try to give yourself a better approach shot then go with a titan hole number five here is a par five and on uh, this par five it's definitely a titan we do need distance but we do want balls uh, that is a general good which means that we do want to have a titan that gives us a little bit of side wind uh, side spin it gives us a little bit of wind resistance combined with power as well uh, and we're going to use that one and to be able to reach for the green in two so a titan combined with a club that do have distance is a crucial thing on hole number five Hole number six, here we do want side spin, and then the quasar is the one to use here as we are going to want to save our titans to the one to the holes <coughs> that we we need to have some distance. So the quasar is the one to go here using all the side spin that we do have going on the left side tie to bounce it into the green. Hole number seven is the same way here. We do want to have side spin here to use depending on which type of wind that we actually are having here. Using the quasar here will be the most common ball when it comes to the side, uh, side spin. Hole number eight. Here we do want to have the marlin because we can reduce the wind just a little bit with the marlin. And also we will not find ourselves in between clubs. If we do have a titan we will be finding ourselves in between clubs on this hole as we do want to be able to bounce it over the first bunker so the marlin is the ball to go here hole number nine it's a par five uh, again and it's uh, a hole where we need distance so the titan is going to be pulled off here and uh, and definitely going to be used to get this eagle that we do really want to have on hole number nine it's a tough hole uh, but the titan would really help us with that distance so i would say like this when it comes to the rookie division in general if we do want to reduce the wind a little bit then the navigator is the ball to go with if we do want to have distance and power then the titan is one to go with if we do want to use side spin then we do want to go with 
the Quasar. Of course, all comes down to which type of balls that you do have in your bag. If you do want to invest in balls, do so. If you do uh, not want to invest in ball, balls, that is totally up to you. Of course, if you do have some special balls, that is something that you can use. But when you're playing in the rookie division, I would suggest that you s save those balls and stick to the balls that you actually can win in the tournament. If you're going to go with the balls that I suggest here, you will be able to use 8, uh, 16, 20 titans for one round. Uh, like I would say qualifying round, opening round, weekend round, we will be using 20 quasars, going to be using 5 marlins, which will, <coughs> and also 5 navigators. Which is something that it's important to have in mind that we always want to win more balls than we actually are spending in the regular game. So we're going to go now and we're going to go through pro and expert here in the same video. So we're going to start here with hole number one for pro and expert division, which means that we're playing from the second tee. The general ball here will be a kingmaker and a titan. Then we're going to pull off some other balls as well. Uh, hole number one, I go with a kingmaker here, uh, will be a general one. Uh, depending on the wind, of course, you can pull off a more special ball here. And I would say wind resistance 5 ball. But again, it's going to be... Uh, those balls are not going to be out on, uh, on many of the holes. It's important to save those two holes that we actually need them. Hole number one, so kingmaker. Hole number two, here is the berserker time or a snow globe, but especially the Berserker, we do want to have the distance, we do want to be able to bounce it all, all to the green. The Berserker will help us uh, to reach there without having to overpower our drive. Hole number three, Kingmaker. We don't really need anything special here on hole number three, we just want to reach over to the fairway, and then we're going to go for the rough bump. So hole number three, I do suggest the Kingmaker. Hole number four, the Kingmaker again, and the Kingmaker will, of course, be a ball that you're able to win in the regular, in the tournament, um, in the weekend round. And I do believe that the Kingmaker here will be suitable for this hole. Going to the right, going to the left, doesn't really matter. If we go to the left and having some tailwind, then we could go with a Titan. Uh, it could work out well. Otherwise, the Kingmaker will be a good general ball. Hole number five here, we do want to have the Titan. The reason for that is that we do want to have the wind to work with. So if we do have Tailwind, I would go with a Titan. If we do have Headwind, I would go with a Kingmaker. That would be my suggestion on hole number five. But importance to have distance to be able to reach for the green too. Hole number six, here we do have a Katana. Why do we have the Katana? The Katana is that... That is a ball that we are not using that often. And here in this hole, we will be okay with the wind resistance for the katana. But also the side spin is going to be absolutely perfect to have that max side spin to the right. That we would want to bounce this one onto the, uh, onto the green. Hole number seven. We take a titan here. Give ourselves some distance for a driver here on this par three. We do not need more than five bars of side spin. And then I do believe the Titan will be the best one for this hole. Hole number 8. Here you can see a bubble ball. And a bubble ball is a ball with wind resistance 5. And the reason we are using wind resistance 5 is that we do want to reduce the wind as much as possible. To be able to bounce it over the bunker in front. Onto the rough. In to, and onto the green. So the bubble ball will help us. Because if we reduce the wind a lot. That will be a good way to get uh, to the adjustment for where we want to. But it's also important here to actually give ourselves the opportunity to make an eagle. Because I do believe that if we are making an eagle on hole 8, we're going to have a good chance to win the tournament. And again, I would say it's kind of crucial that we need to make an eagle here. Hole number 9, the titan here for the end. Headwind, it's a kingmaker. Titan, if we do have the wind... Uh, like Tailwind or Sidewind, I would say. So the Titan here for hole number one. So last but not least, we're going to go through Masters. And Masters is a little bit easier, as you can see on the screen. And we're going to start off with hole number one. Uh, we're going to go with a Santa Ball. A Santa Ball means that we're going to have Wind Resistance 5 combined with Side Spin. And that is important to have in mind that it's a, a combined way to play this hole. 
and I'm going to go most likely with a rocket or a quarterback then I do want to have wind resistance 5 combined with the side spin on this hole to be able to just land it on green and take that birdie. Hole number two, Berserker all day and every day on this hole to be able to reach for the green if we do get a win for it. If we get headwind we won't be able to reach for the green then it could be a kingmaker instead. For hole three, four, five, six, seven, we're going to have a kingmaker and now we, when we have been going through them in the other ball guides here on Pro Expert and also Rookie, <coughs> so I'm shortening it out a little bit here for Masters as the kingmaker is a general ball and I do see uh, most of the players that are playing Masters going to have a bunch of kingmakers to be able to play with uh, and that is important when it comes to having a, uh, a general ball uh, here to go with which is the kingmaker. Uh, there is nothing special really with the holes. We do want to have distance on hole number five. We will get that with a kingmaker. Uh, otherwise, the par threes, uh, we will get a general like power three, wind resistance three, and side spin three. Hole number eight is a bubble ball. As the same pro expert and masters, we do want to reduce the wind as much as possible to be able to reach for the green in one. This is a crucial hole. We need to make an eagle. Hole number nine, it's a cane maker as well, my friends. And we do want to be able to reach for the green too, which is important. So use the king maker here and we are going to be golden. So my friends, uh, it's hard to describe the balls that it's going to be used because there are so many variables that is to be counted in for uh, what type of wind, etc, etc. But this is a start for, to how to show you which type of ball that is going to be needed in the tournament. And it's also something that is very important to follow. Uh, it's going to change your game totally to be able to play with a ball that will give you the best abilities to go for the green. Combine that with the best suited club, then you will have a good time playing that round in the Royal Open tournament. So if you do have any questions, please speak up in the comment section below and I will be very happy to answer you there. And in the end here, good luck in the Royal Open tournament.